Welcome back everybody, Green Assassin here, and today I am bringing you guys episode 32 of my regrowth series. Um, this mod pack is available on the Feed the Beast launcher and Curse Voice for Minecraft, and was created by the Phoenix Lodge. Um, so this episode, uh, I kind of want to do something, as you guys can see, everything in my inventory is pretty much gone, except for my questing book, and I forgot to take this stuff off and put it in a chest, just in case. But this episode, I want to do the update to 0.8.2, and I've already tried doing this update, but the only way I can update it and actually still be able to play my world is I need to delete my HQM book once again. So, I figured I would come to you guys and show you guys. I'm just going to take screenshots. Let me just enable questing mode. There we go. So now I can actually open my questing book, and I got a spare questing book, and now all of a sudden I can't move. Why is my keyboard not working? There we go. Um, so, yeah, I want to reset the questing book. I've been doing a little bit of research, not a lot, but um, in between last episode and this episode, um, I decided I was going to get a small AE system going. I think I showed you guys the inscribers and whatnot that I got back there. But I've set up an AE crafting terminal and an ME drive over here. And then if we take a look back here, I have it hooked up into these things. Not all the barrels are hooked up yet because I need more interfaces and storage buses in order to hook up all these barrels because I'd be more than eight channels on one line. So what I was thinking is I'll do one, two, three, four, five here and then I don't know how I'm going to do this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to have to figure something else out for this. I might put these four barrels on its own network. But with the way this works, you can put up infinite storage or like infinite channels type thing for your storage. So, but the problem I'm running into is that I don't have enough power to run my AE system. So, and the only power I have going right now is these heat generators for mechanism. Which is probably going to get laggy once I get over here. This area always lags me out. So, um, I would like to remove these completely and maybe start working on a better power system that's going to get me more power. Like, this is great and all, but unless I start feeding these coal, I'm not going to be able to run my AE system. Like, it completely drains my system for some reason. And I even threw a stack of coal in each of these four heat generators, and I went through it like no tomorrow. So, I think what I want to do is look at Railcraft for power. I want to try and do the steam boiler again. But... Um, we're still having that issue with Agricraft and Thomcraft not getting along. Um, I've tried a few different things now to see if I could get golems to put the crop sticks in and then just have a harvest and a planter, but I can't get that to work. So basically for auto crops, I'm going to have to wait until the 8.3 comes out, which I did a little bit of research and I checked everything that the Phoenix Lodge has got out on the internet right now and Agricraft has fixed it. It's a hot fix for their newest update and I checked Dropbox and apparently Phoenix Lodge has the update or the change log in Dropbox but he hasn't uploaded it to the launchers yet so 
I'm hoping that 8.3 will come out soon. So I'm going to have to do this 8.2 update sooner or later. So I figure I might as well get it out of the way now. And then if I have to reset my questing book again, once 8.3 comes out, I'll do it again. But I really hate resetting my quest book. You've awoken. Hey, no talking allowed. So basically what I'm going to do. Uh-oh. Um, let me take a quick cut. I gotta go and get my backup of my old HQM. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, I am back. That was just a quick fix. I didn't even have to really reload the game. I just had to go and drop the old file back into my hardcore questing folder. So we got quite a bit of this book done now. And there's a few quest lines here that are still a little messy. Um, I'm pretty sure this one, I even after I complete this one, I still don't think it's going to say 100% complete. But that's going to be an issue with some of these, like this one. Um, it's going to have an issue where this isn't going to pop up until I get certain things in my inventory or whatever. So... It's just one of those things where I'm just going to have to deal. These are all completed, but they're... Uh, which we call it? Repeatables. So, I'm just going to go through. I'm going to try and take screenshots of everything that's completed. So that way, when I come back in... After the update, I can go through it with you guys and show you which ones are done and which ones aren't. Or like edit the questing books so that way. The only problem is the flashy ones I gotta catch on a certain... go so yeah i'm just gonna finish taking pictures of this i'm gonna back out update the game delete my hardcore questing and come back with you guys and we'll update the questing book so see you guys in a second Okay guys, I am back and all I've really done was let the world load. It was a little bit laggy when I first loaded the world, just trying to gen everything back in. Um, I slept to make it daytime, but that's about it. So, oh yeah, and I haven't enabled the questing mode yet. So let's do that quickly. Okay, I've got the screenshots. Oops. Um, open on my other screen. Cool. So, Walken from slumber hey, once more. no, no, no reading. Okay. So, I've got screenshots open on my other monitor. So that way we can go through and, oh, I need to do... There we go. That's the book I'm looking for. Reset the whole book. Okay. So, in the first quest line, can I just complete the whole quest? Oh, maybe not. Okay. So, hold shift and click the quest to automatically complete them or reset their progress. So... Let's take a look. I have nothing in my inventory. I have nothing in my bobble slots. And I have nothing in my traveler slots, which I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to have a scroll there. But, oh well, it's just a scroll. So, let's go through and let's do this. So, this one, everything in this one is completed. Just make sure the quest lines lay out the same. Um, wheat, seed analyzer, Luxia, Mutandis, 
sapling, flower, horn of the wild, day blooms, blah 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 blah. So there's two quests missing right here. And I did not get that quest there. So and that says 82% complete. So how am I going to activate those? I'll have to wait. I'll have to go through and put a bunch of stuff through my inventory. There should be a way of opening the secret quests in this. One thing I can do that I don't really want to do, but I can do it. Oh, I can't jump the fence. I don't have my sash on me. Um, to open up the one secret quest. I don't know how I'm going to get the little, I can't, the little shovel and whatever else that was. Let's pick this up. That should have opened up this quest so we can complete that. So, let's throw that back down. And we'll eat those. And then, we will go back into the quest book. And I don't remember... Yeah, I did get all that stuff, so... We'll claim that one. I'm gonna turn my sound down, because this is gonna get annoying really fast. I don't remember getting lily pads, either. Do we get lily pads? Um, doesn't matter which one I pick. So I'm probably just going to go through this and do this all off camera because this is going to be a boring episode if I just decide to do this the whole episode. And yeah, come up with something else to finish the last half of the episode with. And yeah. So, because I doubt you guys want to see me edit my hardcore questing book. And then anything that I get from this, I'm going to throw in my void chest downstairs. So let's just get through this first set and then I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. Reward... Doesn't really matter. My inventory must be full. So, what I'm going to do is down here in my basement, I have a void chest. We used this void chest when Mechanism 8 got introduced. Yeah, my dogs came downstairs to defend me. I was AFKing and yeah, something attacked me. And yeah, I'm glad they came down to help me. Um, lily pads, I don't know if I got them, but whatever, we'll avoid them anyways. Kinda don't want to avoid that one just yet. I want to see if I have it somewhere else. Oops, <laughs> give me that back. Actually, no, I can avoid that. So I'm going to keep the two scrolls, just because I'm going to see if I have them in a chest somewhere. And if I do, I will void them later. So let me go through the rest of my screenshots and get the rest of this done and completed. And I will come back with you guys and yeah, we'll figure something else out to do. I got to wait. I want to start setting up for getting a better power system going. So that way once um, the hotfix or whatever the agricraft update comes into play, I can actually fix the problem. So I might do something along that lines. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. So let me get my questing book updated. And if there's anything new, I will show you guys when I get back. So I will see you guys in a second. Okay guys, I am back and it's actually been quite a bit of time since first part or first couple parts of this episode. Got doing some things and whatnot and just trying to find a way of or something to come up with or yeah, 
for this this part of the video sorry guys it is very late at night but so anyways questing book I've gone through I've completed everything that was already done um one problem I had was in the way the world works this quest here because I was only halfway through it when I did the reset I had to go kill another wither and I had to craft another beacon and one guy a pylon in order to complete this quest up to this point so I've got a spare beacon and I've got one spare Gaia pylon not a big deal it's not like I didn't have a lot of resources and I'd kill the wither again anyway so that gave me another nether star so yeah I got two beacons I might make use of the second beacon maybe well we might need it for blood magic eventually anyways because there is blood magic quests in this um one other thing was there's this quest so I went through and completed all this and it was only reading like 88% done so I looked through some videos um I think it was purple mentat had a video where he tells you exactly what you need to have in your inventory um and I think I can't remember off the top of my head but I think it was a diamond, a piece of gold, a piece of iron, um, a shard of any kind, a thumbcraft shard, um, a piece of leather, and I can't remember what the other pieces were, if any. So yeah, just keep that in mind that there is certain things you have to have put through your inventory in order to get this one 100% complete. Um, this one had the secret quest that we already knew about because I had already done it. Um, what the world embraces. There was another sweet secret quest in this one. And it took a lot of research to figure out what it was. Um, I ended up finding the hint on the regrowth forums. And what it was for was to make a diamond dolly and go pick up a mob spawner. So, I did exactly that as I like lag out really bad there. So, I went and grabbed myself a mob spawner and brought it back to the my base. So, yeah, let's take a look at that one right now. So, um, did you know diamond dollies can move monster spawners around? I bet you did, otherwise you wouldn't have made one, right? Or is the bling that important to you? So, yeah, I found that by going onto the forums and there's hints down at the, in like, second post in the forum telling you, kind of telling you what you need to do, so... Um, but anyways, we get our choice of four of these diamond dollies, so... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe, if it hollers, let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I don't trust it. Silverfish. That is kind of scary. Okay. Let's, yeah, torch that thing up real good. Oh, and of course, I have a hole in my wall. And I have nothing to patch it up with. Okay, let's get out of here before that thing starts spawning silverfish. So that's kind of cool. So I got a silverfish spawner. Um, I completed this one off camera just because it was an easy craft. It's not that hard to make. I think it's some iron sticks and an ender pearl. Yeah, so very basic to make. What's this one made out of? Ender pearls and diamonds. I wonder what the difference is. I haven't used it yet. It's sitting in a chest downstairs. I'll play around with it a bit off camera and see what it does. 
Um, Simul Sax Trans Constructors. <laughs> yeah, I probably horribly butchered that. A mouthful. Though a mouthful to say are just awesome for building, they allow you to build a material out in a line nice and rapidly, greatly aiding in construction efforts. Did I mention they're cool? So we get a stack of limestone for that. That's pretty cool. Um, what else do we... So this one's 100% complete. So that's another one we can mark off the list. What the world... No, what the world enables we had already had a hundred percent complete so this one this one this one and this one were a hundred percent um this one was a hundred percent i'm pretty sure too so that's good um the way the world works we still have that to do we gotta make an ender portal i have the stuff to make this maybe we could do some crafting no i gotta take a I gotta craft certain things this episode, so. Um, this one's still, everything's locked in. Need another star to make one of these two books. I can't remember which one, but I have looked it up. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Like I said, it's very late where I am right now, so. Um, encoding of the world. We got that one done. We still have the bee suit to do. I could go check on that quickly when we go back into the base. Um, Life of the World. This one still has these little... Why aren't these ones completed? Okay, well, good thing I have the OP book still because I miss those ones. Okay, let's try this again. So shift, 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 shift. I had all of these ones complete already, so I'm gonna claim these later because it's gonna fill my inventory full of stuff that I do not want right now. Even though they're just flowers, I could probably keep them. I'm not going to gain anything by not keeping them. Why am I getting them back? Oh, because they're not going over the fence. Okay, whatever. Apparently I'm keeping them. So, those ones are completed. I'll... Whatever, just claim them. What? Um, so that one, I still have these ones to do and to make a witch egg. Not a big deal. We'll get to that when we get to it. Um, how the world grows. I did complete a couple in here, but we'll take a look at them later because that's witchery. Um, I actually only completed the one, but, um, this one was completed when I m made my silverwood wand. I just forgot to claim it, so I will... Uh, let's go inside. Apparently I was totally unprepared to record this episode. Sorry guys. Um, let's go down here. We get some more nodes, which is kind of cool, so... Get rid of these, even though, like I said, I won't gain anything by keeping them. Um, that was an actual quest that we did, right? So, um, let's go back to the OP book. Open up. Where were we? The way the world feels. So, I made the silver wood thummy embossed wand, or whatever it's called. Um, so the first part wanted you to make the um, silver wood rod, then the thomium caps, and then craft the wand. I'm not going to read this stuff because I'm getting short on time and I still have crafting to do with you guys yet. So we're going to claim that reward. Let's take a look at what's in our bag. 
Uncommon treasure. Nice. We got an emerald. Couple armor. Ender pearl. That one wasn't so good. Potion of instant damage. And that one was just gold coins. Let's go dump this stuff in this chest. Um, ore nodes. We're up to six ore nodes. That's kind of sweet. I'll clean this up later. I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing in between episodes too, but I don't think I'm going to get to that. Um, or in between the cuts, sorry. So yeah, basically I just spent the time fixing up my quest book. It took me a couple hours, but I finally got it. So I'm pretty sure that this whole quest book is up to date. And I'm going to throw this book out now. So, boom. So the only thing I really kept from this is just these scrolls. Because I don't think I have any of them anywhere. I've been looking and I can't come across them. So I'm going to keep the scrolls. They're just title scrolls. So it's not even really that important to the game. Because I'm not on a server anyways. So... Um, but yeah, I got my AE system kind of running. It's hit and miss with it. But I changed all of these out. Took all the barrels out and I put in the better barrels. I got one controller for every one of these barrels on this line. Um, I still do have a barrel here because this one's a B space, spatial barrel. So I want to keep that barrel like that. And then same with this side is I have a coal barrel here and I want to keep, I'm going to turn that one into a B space barrel eventually too. So that's why I kept those two as barrels. But if we take a look inside of here and the only way I can get in here right now is to do this. Um, I have three storage buses hooked up in here and it controls everything in here. Um, storage drawers got a, a pretty big update since the last time I really took an in-depth look in it. And you can make these oak trims, which connect all your drawers around corners and whatnot. Nothing will get stored in these trim. So I made those and turned like this whole thing into a storage thing all on my ME system. So I only got the three in here. And then I have one hooked up to that one and then just my ME drive over there and my panel. So I'm not running a lot of channels right now. Oh, and before I forget, right here, I have an ME interface, um, <clears throat> which has got a golden pipe running to it. I made it so that these chests that are underneath here, um, right there are all piped into the network now so anything that lands in this chest goes into those storage networks i have a space for just about every i'm pretty sure i have a space for or in a barrel for every one of the things that come from the two farms so everything should get stored in here not a problem um, and yeah, that's what I've been doing so far. I've just been feeding those heat generators coal for now. But what I wanted to do, which I'm not going to have time for now, um, I want to get into some BC robots, Buildcraft robots. So I've got a few things prepped and crafted. I got some emerald gates, some docking stations, some redstone plans. These things are really easy to make. And I'm going to program them to be a lumberjack. That was perfect. Um, the biggest thing is the heart of the robot takes a really long time to craft. It requires a lot of energy. Um, so yeah, I've just been farming coal because it takes what? One, two, three, one, two, three. It takes 10 million RF to make one of them, and I made four of them. So that's 40 million RF. So I was just farming coal and feeding it into those things just to try and get that thing built and a lot of AFK time. Um, where's the program table? 
we're going to put one of these in here and we are going to make it a lumberjack. And then this one, I think, needs to be a planter. If I'm wrong on that, I will fix it. But I can't see anything else that it would be. So, harvester, lumberjack, planter, pump, leaf cutter, miner, shovel man. Oh, I guess I gotta pull the lumberjack out before I can do that. So, next episode, we're gonna be working on BC robots. Um, I'm going to get a bunch of stuff put together and probably do a little bit of testing with the stuff that I've already got. So I'm going to build the robots off camera. Um, they're not that hard to make. BC robots. I've already made this thing, the zone planner, very easy recipe. Um, the robot core is fairly easy to make you just need some diamond chipsets some iron and one of those redstone crystals for the heart of it i don't think i need the requester so i'm not going to make one of them and then the rest is all just like um build craft pipes the docking station which is really easy to make um i can't really think of anything else off the top of my head the redstone or the emerald gates Let's recipes for them. I gotta make some more emerald circuits. And oh, one other thing I need is what is it called? A map? I don't think it's called a map. I can't remember what it's called now. But I know it's yellow. I know it's yellow, guys. Oh, factory. It's not in the robots. Is it in the silicon? No. Recipe packager. What's a recipe packager? Builders. No. Energy. No. Factory. No. Robotics. No. Seriously, what was it called again? Where's the normal build craft? There it is, right there. This thingy. Map location. I gotta make one of these, just some paper, some yellow dye. I can probably craft it right now, actually. Watch, I ain't gonna have the paper for it. We're gonna make two of those. Um, I wonder if I should make a list. No, I, don't, I shouldn't need a list just yet, so... And then, yeah, I'm going to set up some stuff, get some stuff crafted, and when we come back next time, we'll be setting up a tree farm, if you guys didn't gather that already, with BC Robots, because I'm sick of waiting for the point three update, and I want to get some better power gen anyways, so yeah, we're going to try it this way and see how it works out, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Sorry it was mostly just me updating my crafting book. Um, at least I got to show you guys around the base a little bit. We claimed some quests and whatnot. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button. Helps my channel grow. Um, shows me that you guys are liking the videos and I appreciate that. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, favorite share comment down below give me your feedback all that fun stuff hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next video